Hello and welcome to a... Uh, for me it is a very special episode. So thank you so much for clicking on this. That means you might at least have kind of a fleeting interest in my person, not only my art, which I feel very honored about. And please do not correct me down in the comments. I'd like to live in this lie a little bit longer. This is about me, <laughs> a video about me. That means I will be drawing myself, there will be a self-portrait, and we will be talking about me. I will be answering some of your questions that you have posted when I ask for it, which very much surprised me that you did. Thank you so much for everybody who posted the question. This is Jesse, by the way. He has forgotten where is up and where is down. And I will only tell him if you subscribe and ring that bell. That's the type of person I am. That's one question answered. Let's get on with the other ones. Well, I was thinking about what picture to take, uh, what should be the picture of myself that I will be drawing today. I was thinking about taking something from the past, something where I was a little bit younger, where I was perhaps a little bit better looking, something that is really advantageous for me. But I thought it would probably be more authentic if I would just take a picture from the video, this video, to be precise. It's just the question that I have to find a picture so I have to make some poses. So let's see, per something was already in there. I always take other people that I'm drawing out of their videos, so... No, <laughs> definitely not. But if I look just a little bit neutral into the camera, I'm sure there will be something in there. So that is the one we will be taking, I hope. And let's get on with the drawing. I just noticed that through most of the video, three of my faces will be staring at you at almost all times. I hope that is not as disconcerting to you than it is to me. I'm very sorry about that, but I think it's the nature of this video, so please forgive me. Let's suffer together. And now it's question time. I was thinking about grouping them into categories, but in the end, actually, I now decided to do it person by person and in an alphabetical order. So if you come up pretty late in the video and you would have preferred to be more in the front, don't complain to me. It's your fault. You chose your own username. If it is actually your real name, go and complain to your parents. Thank you very much. Here's number one. Okay, if I am butchering any names, I am very sorry for that. We are living in the internet here and I haven't spoken to all of you, so I'm sorry for probably butchering and mispronouncing your names. The first questions are from Armin Isaris. He's asking, what is the most meaningful portrait you've made? Now, that is a difficult question. <laughs> uh, I have actually not had the courage yet to draw some of the bigger ones that I wanted to, like my mother, for example, or my father, who both passed away years ago. So I haven't really tackled that. I have started one of my cat that passed away last year, which I did not finish. It was watercolor and <laughs> I did not really reach the level that I could really do that. So probably right now it would be my girl Felicia, because this time is the first time that I really powered through finishing a portrait of a loved one. And the other one that's not of a person that I know is probably Hannah Gatsby because I really love what she's doing on the comedy stage, even when it's not comedy and when it really hurts. But I feel that is really content that makes you grow as a person and that is very special. So that one I did actually as an ASMR video because I did not really had anything good to add to what she's doing because she's saying it all. So that is quite a meaningful one also for me. The second question is, what does art mean to you? Uh, I could talk about that for quite a while, but the biggest thing is I started again drawing after over 10 years. I did not touch a pencil and I did because I was in a really bad part of my life. And I'm very happy that I did because it helped me so much. So art is a lifesaver for me and it is really something that gives you meaning. I'm, I'm testing out right now completely different stuff in the art department 
that I hope I will bring to a point that I can show something to you guys. But it's just exploring yourself, growing, and for myself it's also a lifesaver. Most embarrassing moment of my life. <laughs> that's, that's a difficult one. I have actually now wrecked my brain for some time to find something. The thing is that I have a couple of them. I have one of those minds, you know, that just do not let go of those. And one of the good things of getting older is that I at some point understood that a lot of those are really not that embarrassing. For one, everyone else who is part of those stories, they definitely don't remember any of that. It's just my head that just does not let go of those things. So I promise you, if I come up with something after filming the video, I will post it down in a comment and pin it. So you can check there if I already thought of something. Who are your biggest artistic influences? Also a big question. Arman, you are someone for the big questions, aren't you? <laughs> I don't have any that I can name, really. I'm, I'm hoping this doesn't get too uninteresting. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not looking at any artists in terms of how I can copy something, change something. I would say my biggest artistic influence is probably my art teacher, uh, my, my drawing teacher, not actually from school, but my mother. Uh, a friend of hers who was actually an artist, she gave me lessons for one or two years, three years, I don't know, something like that. So that was definitely my biggest influence. How do you develop your art skills? I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, I'm really just trying. I am watching videos, art videos, and I am trying to learn from them. Not every art tutorial that calls themselves an art tutorial is really a tutorial, but you still can pick up some stuff from, from most of those videos. And I get a couple of ideas there and I just try them out. And of course, if you draw, I don't know how many portraits I've drawn on this channel, I think over a hundred. <laughs> or at least near to 100. And that, of course, also develops my art skill. If I cannot do something, like I still have trouble with curly hair styles, I will search for a tutorial. And I will definitely not always take the one with the most views. But that's basically how I develop my art skill. The type of music you like the most? I'm pretty mainstream, <laughs> sorry to say that. I'm listening to radio most of the day, uh, because it also the dogs like it. At least I tell myself that they like it. It helps them if they are alone. If we have to go outside, they're used to the sound. So I'm, I, I like what's running in the radio, which is incidentally completely different than what is running, I don't know, in, in the US, for example. But I love music. I can say here at this point, Armin Izeris has a channel where he is playing a lot of music and also playing his own original songs. They're pretty good. And it's just fun to see such a talent growing and you can watch him growing on his channel. If you're given the chance to pick another talent aside from drawing, what would it be? Singing, definitely. I can hold a tune, but it's still not pleasant to listen to. So I would love to be able to sing, really sing. This will be a long video, I already see it. I probably have to cut some things. If I have to cut a complete question, then I'm sorry, but I cut it because probably my answer was not very interesting. I'll try to leave them in though. So, next one, Art Up Academy. Anna, a dear friend of the channel and a very active Discord community member. By the way, if you want to join the Discord community, you find the link down in the description. There's the link tree and you can find it from there. So, first question, directly a banger, and I promise to answer it in this video. My own name, my own name is Kai, pleasure to meet you. So here it is. From now on, I will call myself Kai on camera in the videos. If you prefer sketch or sketching or gray, greyhound, all of them have been used, you can continue to do so, that's completely fine. Third, your age, which I am asking for formality as you won't be replying, correct. What will Jesse do if you frighten him as he did by hiding his head in October? No, he won't re he won't hide when I frighten him and when I frighten him, he will really just jump back and perhaps even make a whiny noise, uh, which does not mean that I have tested that. Just for example, he hates to be picked up. So if I just make a movement like picking him up, he shows this reaction. He hates it. He's a big boy. I understand being afraid of that. Your favorite drawing among the ones you made? I think one of my favorites is still Harley Quinn. I like that was one of the first where I combined watercolor and pencil and it turned out pretty nice. 
I have to say myself. Recently I enjoy the grey paper ones more. So my favorite there, I, I really like my Nick is not green one. It turned out pretty spot on I have to say. And I'm pretty proud of, of my portrait from Felicia. Because first time I ever drew an animal and it turned out pretty good. First time I completed an animal picture. Your favorite YouTuber or artist? Ah, <sighs> big question. Very big question. I, not artists, I love to watch Evan and Caitlin. I even watch all of their gaming videos. If you don't know them, they mainly make DIY, but they also are streaming a couple of times a week. And I just love to have that running in the background. You do not really have to look that much. And they are really wholesome. I love that type of content. Although she left the platform, Jenna Marbles is really a YouTuber that I heard that she is gone because her brand of humor is just crazy. What do you think, Julian? I think you achieved your wife's dreams today. It is just so completely bonkers. I loved it. It gave me so much joy in such a dark time. The question I hate most when asked me your favorite color. I, I think it's actually red. I do not see red that well. I have a partial color blindness for green and red, but I kind of like red. I like red a lot, so I go with red. I, I even managed to make that answer much too long. <laughs> the drawing of yours that you hate most. Oh, there are a lot, you know. Um, it's not really hate and I always try to look at it as a learning experience. So if it's not good, I try to find out why and not make those mistakes again. Probably the Winter Soldier though. I did a live stream drawing him, so he's on the platform. I never finished it completely. I never posted it as a time lapse because it's just horrendous. It's really not good. You will see if I mustered up the courage to put a screenshot right here. So you know what I'm talking about. Favorite book author? Very different. It's one. I, I think it's a standard question, but it's also quite difficult question. I really love The Hours, but I would be lying if I could tell you who the author is. I love the movie. I read the book. Normally, the first thing you read or watch is the one that you prefer because it builds up that world in your head. So I thought I would not like the book. It is really good. So I love that definitely. Movie and book author. I loved all the Anne Rice Vampire Chronicles books. So if I would have to choose an author, it would probably be Anne Rice. Although I only recently discovered that she continued writing them. So I have a lot of catching up to do. One place in the world you want to visit. I want to go to a really perfect beach, you know, the ones you see in TV. And I would love for it to be not exactly overcrowded. Not too long, I would get bored quickly, but four days, something like that, just to enjoy the sun, the water, the sand, all of that. I'd love that. So thank you very much, Anna, for your questions. Art Hub Academy, also an art channel. She is so creative in the things that she is using and so adept at all of them. <laughs> so check her channel out. Thank you very much for your questions, Anna. We are at Art, Drinks and Things by Damo. I think I always call you Damo, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> So question number one, what's your favorite food and drink? I have to go with something completely unhealthy. I just love my french fries. I just love my french fries. It's easy. It tastes good. Shouldn't eat as much as I do, but I love them. Drink is a little bit more difficult. I would love to say water, but that's definitely not true. I would say that also answers a later question actually. It is a type of cocktail. It is orange juice and Campari, not sponsored. I love that combination. It is bitter, it is sweet, it is sour. Again, easy, but good. What's the one desired place you've always wanted to go? I think we answered that one. So, a great beach. What's your favorite subject to paint and draw? I think we can safely assume it's portraits. <laughs> I could not even tell you why. I actually started doing art because I wanted to be able to draw my own comic books. And somehow I've got stuck at more photorealistic faces. And I'm now an artist who can reproduce but not create by himself that much. At least not from my head. There would never be something remotely close of the quality that I achieve with the portraits. So let's go with portraits. Favorite sport? Next question. <laughs> I really am not a sport person. I actually enjoy going to the fitness studio, which I should start again, but I'm not really that I, I, I play. I li like to play basketball, for example, but I don't watch it. What's your biggest dislike? 
we all have them. That is true. Um, unfortunately, I have one of those brains where everything that happens and that is not perfect or that I don't like, it makes it my fault. So it is difficult. But I think the biggest dislike right now is quite safe to say a lot of people fall for wrong information. And I understand the psychology behind it and everything and that you could argue perhaps the same about me. So many people are getting lied to right now. That's my biggest dislike, I would say. Editing career hi. Uh, I just noticed that this is very ambiguous, what I'm describing there. Uh, I wanted to keep it a little ambiguous. I did not want to be too intense with that opinion, but I feel like I have to make it a little bit more clear. I do definitely believe in science. For example, a lot of people right now are questioning that. And unfortunately, science is still most of the time right. And I also do not believe that countries are inventing an illness to try to control us while losing so much money and strength in the world. So I don't see where that makes sense. So let me be clear on that. But now let's get back to the questions. So Damo actually also has his own channel. As you perhaps have seen from the name, he is two actually. So the one where he is doing a lot of things, art, drinks and things, and one where he is teaching you in really full length, cool tutorials how to draw yourself. And he's an amazing artist, so if you want to learn how to draw in color or to paint, he's the right guy for that. Atu Bandari, thank you very much for your question. Your question is, why does Gaming Grayon show your address USA and this one Germany? <laughs> Good question and very observant. Is that the right word? I have no idea. Well, for the people who do not know, I have a gaming channel that is not posted to for over a year, I think. So you haven't missed really anything that big. If you people see this and you are interested in me continuing that, go there and subscribe and comments and let me know that I should continue doing gaming videos. But anyway, um, actually when I started, I had the feeling at that point in time that there were a lot of prejudice against Germans. They are not very well liked everywhere, at least. This one Germany, because that is true, and I have grown personally since opening the gaming one. And I was thinking, well, who cares? I'm German, who doesn't like that, can find other artists. There are a lot of very good artists out there. Tipika Padukone, thank you so much for your question. First drawing I ever made and what age I was at that time. I actually have to postpone that. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I'm considering to really do a you know, video or even a live stream about looking at all drawings of mine. I don't have them here right now and I have to get them from family that is not so nearby. And my first drawings are from kindergarten. I cannot tell you and I'm not sure if I have any indication how old I really was. But we will hopefully be able to look at some stuff. It's art by Donna M. I was very happy that you also put in some questions. Thank you very much, Donna. The real name, I've answered that one. My favorite sketch, I've answered that one also. If I was an animal, which one would I be and why? I think dog, with a good human though. I've seen so many terrible stories about dogs, so it would have to be a dog with a good human. Why? Because I would be so stinking cute, I could be sleeping all day and would get my food served for me. That's the life, isn't it? A book you read more than once and the moral of the story. I would actually count the hours also here because I've watched the movie so many times. I only read the book once actually, but I have the audiobook. The moral of the story, there, there are a lot of morals actually that you take out of it, but I would say one of the most interesting ones for me would be that sometimes you have to take the hard decision. And even if somebody suffers because of that in the short term, long term, it might still be for the best for everybody involved. It is hard and it can be really difficult to really take it and commit to it, but it still might be the right decision. Life is that complex, unfortunately sometimes. Your most favorite series that was cancelled? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Definitely. <laughs> there are comic books that continue the story, but they're not nearly as good. I only count really the TV series and I would have loved for there to be more. Or a movie at some point. It's art by Donna M. Obviously also has a channel, an art channel, with so many fun pours. So definitely check that out. It's not just paint, it's art by Donna. Neon Squirt is asking, do you still have my portrait? Give me a second, I'm pretty sure. Found it. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. There it is. See, I do have it. 
It was one of the first on my channel and I'm sorry to say Neon, I don't like it. I think I was pretty happy with it in the beginning, but I think I have grown. If I still love you, all love is undying. When are we going to get Popeyes together? As soon as you come over here and find the Popeyes here. <laughs> Zarin Yatov, hey, you are asking remember me, that's your first question and yes I do, <laughs> we have a lot of discussions in the life of Arta, your question is your most favorite movie ever and why, I'm actually surprised that it's not a political question, but I don't really want to go too deep into politics, so <laughs> I think that's a good thing, uh, my most favorite movie ever, it's a big question again, I could go again with the hours, um, but I can also say, let me add something new to it, so I really love of Moulin Rouge and I've seen that a couple of times. I cannot say I'm a big fan of Baz Luhrmann's films in general because when I for example look at the scenes that were cut I'm very happy that they were cut. And yes I do enjoy movies. It is mostly story though that I enjoy so I also enjoy stories and books and video games all of that. Give me a good story regardless of the medium and I'll gobble it up. Strode Design Studios, you would like to know my first name and I think your wish has already been granted. Strode Design Studios is making Christmas cards, air dry clay and a lot of different really fun stuff that you can, at least partly, definitely also do at home. So if you are interested in that kind of content, hop on over there. And that was the last one. Thank you everyone again for all of your questions. I hope I could shed a little light on the mystery that is me. I hope it was not too boring. But that's it. Those were the questions. This is the self-portrait. I actually, I, I haven't drawn it yet at the time of recording this. So you know more about it than present day Kai knows. But I would guess that it is solidly done. But I do not really am in love with the model in this picture. So, but that's all for today. Thank you so much for sitting through this quite long video today. I guess at least. I haven't edited it yet. But it looks like there is a lot of material to go through. I really appreciate you being here today. Have the greatest of days and goodbye.